Russia for the first time unveiled an image of a new super-heavy thermonuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missile meant to replace its Soviet-era Satan missile. The RS-28 Sarmat nicknamed Satan II by NATO will be high on the list of the world's most deadly weapons. It was developed by the Makiv Rocket Design Bureau and has been in the works since 2011. In accordance with the decree of the Russian government on the State Defense Order for 2010 and the planning period 2012-2013, the Makiv Rocket Design Bureau was instructed to start design and development work on the Sarmat. Read a statement from the missile's chief designers posted alongside the image. In June 2011, the Bureau and the Russian Ministry of Defense signed a state contract for the Sarmat's development. The prospective strategic missile system is being developed in order to assuredly and effectively fulfill objectives of nuclear deterrent by Russia's strategic forces, the statement read. According to the diplomat, the missile is expected to begin replacing the RS-36M intercontinental ballistic missiles from the Soviet era by 2020. Moscow intends to completely retire the old class of missiles, which have been nicknamed Satan by NATO, from its strategic missile force by 2022. The photograph has been highlighted by Russian state-run media outlets, which reported that the missile is expected to go into production as early as 2018. Russia Today reported that the missile's first stage engine PDU-99 underwent testing in August and a hypersonic warhead meant to fit on the missile was tested in April. Originally intended for a 2020 release, the Satan II is now expected to be operational by 2018. The more than 100-ton missile would be launched from a silo and can travel distances of up to 10,000 kilometers or 6,214 miles through the North or South Poles to deliver an enormous 10-ton payload. Though heavy, it is not slow, reaching maximum speeds of more than Mach 20, some 24,500 kilometers per hour or 15,220 miles per hour. Russian state-controlled news outlets reported earlier this year that the missile is capable of wiping out parts of the Earth the size of Texas or France, and that its higher speed performance will enable it to speed past every missile defense system in existence. Sputnik characterized the missile development as an effective response to U.S. missile defense deployments close to Russia borders as well as the Pentagon's program to develop conventional prompt global strike weapons.